Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the Steel figure from Power Rangers Beast Morphers. This guy is sort of like wave two of the class of figures that are the Beast Bots. Uh, we had Cruise and Smash before, but this guy just stands alone. There's no other new ones in the wave or anything. I guess actually wave three, because if you count um, Jax, but did she come with regulars? Did she? I don't remember, but like, she, he basically comes on his own is the point that I'm getting at. But he does have some accessories, which I'm going to go over first. He does come with an extra Striker Morpher and Saber, which is kind of neat, so you can have some extra ones for your Gold and Silver Ranger figures. And then you have this, like, backpack gimmick thing, it, and you attach it here on the back, there's like this little, like, cylinder here, and you just snap it on there, and it's like, hey look, he's got a beetle backpack. Beetle backpack base. But that's the gimmick, is you press this out, and his wings come out. It kind of reminds me of the... With the mega blue armor from Beetleborgs where he had that thing on the back that sprung out into wings like a beetle, obviously. I mean, it's fine. I could leave, take it or leave it. I mean, leave it or take it, I guess, works too. But I don't really like the way it has this on there. Like, it kind of bothers me that there's just this random hole in his back. I kind of wish it was just, like, two little pegs right here or something. That's the only thing that bothers me about it. Otherwise, I don't mind it existing. Other than I do think it's kind of funny that it kind of reminds me of Bandai's logic when they had the auxiliary figures come with figures. They're like... Kids aren't gonna just wanna buy a figure of a robot. Let's give them beetle wings. Yes, Johnson, you got it, finally. It's not a huge deal other than this thing on the back, but it's just kind of funny to me that the things that the toy companies think will make it more appealing. I mean, I don't know, maybe it works. I'm not a toy company executive, but it just, in my mind, I think it's kind of stupid. He does come with his own, almost said progress key here for a second, but he does come with his own uh, Morphex key here. And this is like the most difficult one to shift around, which is really obnoxious, which kind of looks like his design a little bit. These are kind of uneven, but you know, it's just a key, a B's key. That's all it does if you don't have a morpher. But let's go ahead and check out the morpher sounds to get it out of the way, so. We need to work together. Do we, though? We've got the code to victory! Do we, though? We need to work together! Let's skip over. Rangers, it's go time! Are you ready? Say, it's morphin' time! I'm with Banana as we speak. So yeah, we got that pretty much par for the course. I kind of wish it was this one that had the I'm half human, half awesome noise. It kind of would make more sense for his standalone key. But anyway, overall, I think this is a pretty solid figure. I think sculpt-wise, it's pretty accurate. The heads may be a little bit off, but I could be nitpicking. But overall, I think sculpt-wise, it's fairly accurate. And the details are pretty decent. I wouldn't say they're the best. I think things could be a little bit better, a little bit more fine-tuned. But I think overall, it's pretty solid. Actually, my only real complaint about the figure, aside from this little back piece, which I'm not a huge fan of, is that on... It's kind of hard to see. I mean, you can see it, but it's kind of hard to know about unless you're actually holding it. But like, like his visor has this weird pasty feel or like not pasty feel but like powdery feel where it feels like the finish they have on here that like quote unquote seals the toy just isn't on here and makes it almost feel like there was a layer ripped off or forgotten to put on and it just it looks a little weird you can't see it as much on camera as you can in person and it's not a huge deal but it mainly feels weird and just it's kind of out of place to be honest but other than that I think the head sculpt is pretty solid it did happen to make me think that there were some scenes where we had a stunt suit for this where the head was way too big and I kept remaining or forgetting to bring that up in my episode reviews but that was kind of funny to me but everything else is pretty decent not perfect but decent I am just honestly happy to have a figure of Jay slash Steel being one of my favorite characters in both series and there's pretty limited options for Go Busters I think there might have been one talking figure but really in the main line the only option was the vinyl figure so it's like really nice to actually have an articulated figure speaking of you know his pretty standard articulation he has these move a little bit out of the way but they do kind of hinder his arm articulation but he does have the same arm articulation as the basic figures, uh, the same elbow joint, same leg joint here, which is nice. He doesn't have that. He's not a villain, but he didn't get shortchanged by not having leg articulation. Like, I could have seen this easily have been one of the figures where they only make it go like this or a little bit like Blaze. So you have nice range of articulation, overall well done. The legs feel not loose, but like just a little bit on the verge of it. Like, after owning this for a bit, they might become loose. So just kind of watch out for that. Like, I know that my cruise is like really bad at that. Cruise. I think is the worst of this line. Sorry, buddy, you're taking hits in this review, but he really
really is. Like, he feels so cheap. Whereas this one, I think, is an overall solid figure. Like, mainly, I'm just happy to have it because, again, Jay's one of my favorite characters. I really like Steel as well, so I'm really happy to have an articulated figure. I think if you're in a similar boat as me, then get out. This is my boat. If you like Jay or Steel, I can definitely recommend picking this up because it's cool to have the figure, even if it's not 100% perfect. I would love to see a Lightning Collection figure because I love the character so much, but at the very least, I want to see him come with this alternate head for his Lightning Collection Silver Ranger figure because we did get a helmet of the shot in the show. Anyway, that's about it for this one. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you get notifications for all my videos. Until next time, Dawson Ryder, signing out.